Hello guys, this is Radha Lakshmi, Associate Professor from CSE Department of Foreign Engineering College and welcome to this tutorial on arrays in Java. First, we will talk about arrays in Java, arrays of objects and the respective examples. An array is a data structure that contains homogeneous elements. Homogeneous means all the elements in the array are of same data type. On screen, you can see the syntax for declaring and instantiating an array in Java. Now, let us have a look at an example Java program using arrays. Actually, all the components of the array are of the same data type. Each of these elements has an index value associated with it. The index is the position of the elements inside the array. The index always starts with zero. Now, the main class name is test array and the public main uh, method is defined inside the main class. And using the statement, the array with name A is declared and instantiated. For instantiating an array, the new keyword can be used. Now the array with name A with size 5 is instantiated. A of 0 is initialized with value 10. That is, the very first element of the array is containing the value 10. And the remaining values are also initialized one by one till the position A of 4. Now, this for loop is used to traverse the array and to print the elements present in the array. Now, inside this for loop, the length variable is used. Actually, length is the property of the array which returns number of elements present in the array. Now, this is the output of this program. Now, this is the second example program using arrays. Here, the main class name is for each example. And inside this class, main method is defined. And an array with the name ARR is declared as well as initialized with four elements. A for each loop is used to traverse the elements present in the array. Since the data type of this array is integer, the loop control variable i is also declared as an integer variable. Now, this is the output of this program. Now, let us have a look at as an example uh, program for creating student database without using arrays, then uh, an example uh, Java program uh, creating student database using array of objects. Now the first example, student database without arrays. Here, the class name is student and the student class contains two data members, register number and name. Along with these data members, a method with name set data is defined. It is a parameterized method which is receiving two arguments. It is used to set values for the data members, register number, and name. The next method is display method, which is used to print the values of register number and name on the screen. Name of the main class is test. Inside this test class, the main method is defined. Inside the main method, two temporary variables are declared. Name of the first variable is x and it is of integer data type. And name of the second variable is str and it is of type string. Now, a scanner class object is created using the new operator and name of that object is esc. Now, a student object is created. The first student object is created. Name of that object is yes. Second student object is created and name of that object is yes too. Now, using the method, scanner class method, next int, register number of the student is read from the keyboard and that is stored in the variable x. Then, using the scanner class method, next, a string, that is name of the student is read from the keyboard and that is stored in the variable str. 
Now register number and name, both the values are stored inside the data member by calling the method set data. Now, display method is called to print the values of the register number and name of the student. The remaining uh, statements will read and print the register number and name of the second student. Now we are going to see student database with arrays of objects. The same student class is defined with data members, register number and name, and with two methods, set data and display. Set data is used to initialize the data members, register number and name. Display method is used to print the values of the register number and name. This is the name of the main class, that is test one. Inside this class, the main method is defined. Here also, two temporary variables are declared with the name x and str. x is of type integer, str is of type string. As we have seen already, a scanner class object is also created and an array of uh, student object is also created. Array reference of a student object is also created. Now, using this for loop, we are going to read, create, and uh, store the values of five students. Now, using this scanner class method next int, register number of the students are read. And using the scanner class object sc dot, uh, uh, scanner class object sc, and the method next, name of the student is read. And uh, an object is created using this new operator. And by calling the set data method, register number and name of the student is stored in the object. This will be repeated for five number of times. And we will be reading register number and name of five students. Now using this for loop, will print the register number and name of all the students one by one. Thank you.